Okay, this video is clearly for Wednesday, July 18th, 2012, and um, it's on, clearly, CM Punk vs. John Cena this Monday, or next Monday, Raw 1000, I'm assuming it's the main event of the show, and I'm sure it's going to have a very, very memorable and very dramatic conclusion now a lot of people are kind of uh hesitant about this because they do think cena is gonna beat cm punk and i am one to think that cena will be the first guy who will cash in money in the bank he did it fairly for one like the true face that he is the true good guy that he is he cashed it in um letting the opponent know that hey i'm cashing it in this day you have a week to prepare be ready because i'm taking your belt that was the stupidest thing that you could have done sure cena you're a good guy you got to do things by by the by the book the moral the more ethical decision but come on you want to win a title you take him at his weakest point big show beat the hell out of him big show made sense for once he said it, you know, you will never get an opportunity easier than what you have right now. And it looked like Cena was teasing that, hey, I might just do this. But he didn't. He cashed it in. And uh, which leaves us to only wonder, is uh, can Cena beat Punk um, next week? And I think he won't. I do think this will, uh, since Big Show did get laid out by Cena by the briefcase... Uh, I think that'll uh, lead to a ref bump, which leads to Big Show coming out. Maybe a knockout punch. Punk will be oblivious to it. Pick him up. GTS, one, two, three. Or you can do a different route. Have The Rock come in. And, uh, hell, the, the Rock can even give the rock bottom to Cena. Or, sorry, to Punk, letting Cena win. Thus setting up Rock versus Cena, too. At, um, WrestleMania. Maybe the Royal Rumble somewhere but you can't really book a WWE title match so far in advance knowing that Cena could lose it and that was kind of a stupid thing I don't even know why I said that then uh one other thing with that match uh Cena <laughs> I tweeted about it Cena said in his promo we will find out next week who the best in the world really is I laughed because uh with all due respect this is my tweet with all due respect Cena you are not the best in the world but after I thought about it I'm like you know I kind of take those words back because Cena may not be the best wrestler in the world, um, but he is definitely best in the company when it comes to hooking a fan into believing in a big match situation. That poster behind me is a perfect example of that. And not saying The Rock isn't due to get his credit for that, but Cena has pulled his own weight when it comes to big match situations. And I think there are very few people in wrestling period who have that gift to do certain things at a certain period of the match to keep the fans on the edge of their seat those just listing three four off the top of my head Ric Flair, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels and John Cena those four are in a class by themselves when it comes to big match situations where they know what to do and when to do it and making the fan just that much more interested in their match you watch some Ric Flair, Ricky Steamboat, some Ric Flair, Dusty Rhodes back in the day. You were just so hooked on the, the screen because you never knew when Ric Flair was going to do this. When Dusty Rhodes fought back, Ric Flair knew exactly when to cut him off to make you go like, oh, he's coming back. Oh, no, he's not. And WrestleMania 28 is a perfect example of uh, Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H telling that story of just like brutality and just violence and just making you feel sorry for all three of them and uh cena and rock uh, although i was expecting a lot more drama from it the lead up to it the confrontations before it confrontations during the match before the match after the match it was all part of a big story and there could be a chapter two but i hope there isn't but like i said cena is the best in the world when it comes to certain things like storytelling like intrigue like he's a good hook you know when 
he's like a fishing rod, but his hook is huge, and it just captures the thing and just reels him in. Like, wow, he just brings you right in. That you can't take away from Cena. Punk, he... And, and like I said, Punk brings the best out in Cena, and Cena brings the best out in Punk. Money in the Bank, the crowd was part of it, Cena was part of it, and Punk was part of it. SummerSlam, same thing. Triple H was part of it, Punk was part of it, and Cena was part of it. Those guys just seem to bring the best out of in, in each other, and that's why I'm looking forward to the match next week. And although Raw may not have been uh, all that memorable, you know, leading up to the Raw 1000, I do think that the 1000th episode will be something to look forward to, and it'll be a show that I think people will be talking about for months, much like Destination X, uh, the TNA show. And because uh, this is getting more hyped than the pay per views, honestly, so I'm expecting something huge to happen. And I think, uh, judging by this week's uh, announcement, Michael Cole made that DX is going to open the show. They're looking for a high first hour because it is a three hour show. So they're expecting everyone to tune in right at 8 o'clock. Even those ones who, who snoo come in around 9, 9 30, they want them to be home at 8 to see DX return. You have DX returning, Brock Lesnar, uh, The Rock. You got a world title match. I guess you're going to find out about some GM situation. That's a stack card. And I'm sure there's going to be some uh, some drag along, some things that are going to go on too long, but I think next week's show is going to be memorable, and the match is going to be memorable. And I can see CM Punk walking out of that building, still the WWE champion. And uh, a Ziggler cash-in, maybe not, but it is quite possible. Uh... But uh, I doubt that, because I think they're leaving that show to really be a way to for the guys who are already established to just give them more stardom. They're not going to give a young guy that time of day, honestly. Just knowing that company, knowing how they work is just like, you know that'll never happen. But that's all. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, obviously, because I'm doing a video today. Yeah, tomorrow.